let's get into these 2K rankings. So for you guys that didn't see, we have been getting 2K overall rankings. I want to start with the rookie rankings first. So let me share my screen with you guys so you guys can see it. And we have the top rated rookies, which if you're listening on the audio side, I will I will read these for you um, until we do get to uh, Ron Holland in a second. But basically, you have a Zachary Richache at 75 overall, Alex R 75 overall, Reed Shepard 73, Stephon Castle 73, Donovan Klingon 73, Ron Holland 72. Rob Dillingham, 72, Zach Eady, 72, Matas Bezella, 72, and Nicole Topic, 72. Um, and then the list goes on with Ron Holmes, uh, Terrence Shannon Jr., Cody Williams, TJ Salong, and Devin Carter, all at 71. You have Dalton Connect, Bob Carrington, Khalil Ware, Jared McCain, Tristan De Silva, Jacoby Walter, Jalen Tyson, uh, Yes, a messy. I think I pronounced that right. I probably butchered it. Uh, I apologize if I did. Uh, Keyshawn George, Ryan Dunn, Isaiah Collier, uh, Kyle Filipowski, Tyler Kolick, uh, Johnny Furpy, all at 70 overalls. And then you have AJ Johnson at a 69 overall. With these 2025 top rated rookies, uh, this comes exclusively from the 2K Twitter website. So, that is going to be the top-rated rookie. So let's kind of get into the Ron Holland rankings, if you will. So Ron Holland was the fifth overall pick, as you guys know. He's sitting in his 72 overall with 2K. Now, I personally think when we're getting into these 2K rankings, I think a lot of us um, that play the game, uh, myself, I play it, uh, I don't really get too hung up on uh, rankings because throughout the season, they can get updated, they can get improved. I think 72 for Ron Holland starting off is actually kind of a fair ranking. Uh, you know, anywhere between like 72 to 74, I thought was fair for a Ron Holland. But you, you have, you know, the top draft picks like Risha Shea, who was number one, 75. Uh, Alex Sar, second overall pick, 75. Reed Shepard, third overall pick, uh, 73. So I, I think Ron Holland is exactly where he needs to be with these 2K rankings. Um, I don't really have a problem with it personally. Um, I know there are some people uh, that are probably going to you know, listen back to this or if you're watching live right now, whether that's on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube, you probably just don't care about these 2K rankings, but it is something to talk about, something for us to to discuss. Um, personally, I think it's cool to see you know Ron Holland at the, the top of the, the rookie top rated 2025 list. Uh, from NBA 2K, but we are going to transition into more 2K rankings, if you guys will. Now, this is from 2K as well, like I mentioned, and you have top 100, so this is 100 through 91, and if we scroll down right here at 97, you have Jalen Duran that is sitting at an 81 overall, uh, other players that have an 81 overall, um, you have Derek Lively Jr., uh, Nick Claxton, who the Pistons, I don't know, I thought the Pistons were going to sign up, but they didn't this offseason. Uh, Daniel Gaffer, Nikola Vucevic, Isaiah Hartenstein, Nas Reed, and Mikel Bridges are all 81 overall. So Jalen Duran will be joining the likes of them with an 81 overall in 2K. Now, again, I think whether or not you guys really um, care about these, I, I know some of you guys do, some of you guys don't. Uh, I think 81 is pretty fair for Jalen Dern. I, I think he has a chance to, you know, rise as high as 85 if he has a really good season this year. Uh, again, like your 2K rating can get updated throughout the season um, if you have a a better season. Um, you know, say the Pistons are out and you know they they crack that 20 win range. Would not surprise me at all if you see Jalen Dern towards the end of the season with an 85 overall um, on NBA 2K this season. Now, if you go over to the 50-41 rankings, we have Cade Cunningham. Now, Cade Cunningham was ranked an 86 overall, and he's the 41st best player in NBA 2K this year. Now, if we just kind of go through the list, uh, Alper and Sangoon is rated 50. He has an 85 overall. Brandon Ingram, ranked 49, 85 overall. Julius Randle, 85 
uh, ranking. Uh, Scotty Barnes, 85 ranking. Evan Mobley, 86, 86 ranking. Uh, DeJounte Murray, 86. Derek White, 86. Franz Wagner, 86. And Jalen Williams, 86. So all of these guys, um, you know, they're, they're good players. Uh, Kate is sitting at 86. I think Kate has the potential to get up to a 90 personally. Um, I, I think this is the season that I'm expecting out of him. I think Cade's going to have a very good – it's crazy to say his fourth year when technically it's only his third year, but I think Cade's going to have a really good campaign. Uh, getting more spacing around him would not surprise me at all if you see Cade um, in those 90 overall rankings uh, with 2K this season. That's just my personal opinion. on it. I don't know how anyone else – watching live right now whether that's on twitter facebook or youtube watching this live how you guys feel about these detroit pistons 2k rankings you got ron holland sitting in the 72 you got jd jalen duran 81 and then you have kate cunningham 86 overall with these 2k rankings but it's something i did want to talk about with you guys just for a couple of minutes or so um again i i play 2k a lot i don't know about you know anyone else watching this uh, live stream, this uh, on this YouTube channel, Twitter, Facebook, whatever? Uh, I don't know how deep you guys are into 2K, but something I think everyone um, has a very strong opinion about. Um, but it, it's good to see that these guys are, you know, getting proper rankings. I mean, I know in years past there were you know draft picks that we had just didn't really have the the rankings that we wanted, but. I think 86 for Kate is fair, 81 for Jalen Dern is fair, given the 14-win season that we had last year.